It's a vibe. Pull up with my G's, we taking flights. We just pop on bonus bundle price. Spend a hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. As you can see, we have a very special guest here. Yes, we do. The drum rolls. <laughs> We're with Swain. Swain, I'm gonna allow you to introduce yourself. Oh wow. Oh wow, yes. So my name is Adi Shegun Come on. Okay. You're my things. You're my yeah. things. I'm a proud here, my boy. Mm -hmm. Proud Nigerian. People know me as Smaid. Some people call me King Smaid. King Smaid. Yes. That's like King Smaid. King of the entertainment business. Okay. Can you please tell us why did you decide to join the entertainment business? Why did I decide to join entertainment business? Okay, so I, I studied marketing and advertising in, in school. My my first degree and my second degree masters was also marketing and advertising. But when I was my first year in uni, I was just trying to, you know, that, you know, period when you're trying to discover what you want to be, and um, the opportunity of, you know, being an entertainer came by. Yeah. You know, I I I was drawn into um, seeing people enjoy themselves in clubs and you know the excitement and stuff like that and. I was known to always have people around me in my house and stuff. So I didn't, even, I didn't even know I was going to be a promoter. To be honest with you, I just it was just a career path that I saw as an opportunity, and I grabbed it. You know, and it's paid well. Smage Entertainment was actually my final year project in school. Oh wow! Yeah, oh, wow. so I, I, I knew what I wanted. Yeah, and you know, I drove it and I I went for it. Yeah. See guys, he went to school also. Don't be saying, oh my days, he went to school. His thesis was what his thesis like he's doing now. So guys, go to school. Yeah. Next question I'm going to have for you is, what year or period would you say the business took off in? What year or period? Oh wow. Um, the first event I did, because I'm a perfectionist. I love... Come on. Come on. <laughs> was, like, the first event I did, I did it without even being a promoter. But, you know, um, it came, I did the event. And you know the event was so good that the club called me back and said, "You know what? Too, Are you a promoter?" I'm like, "Promoter? What's a promoter? I don't even know what a promoter." Yeah. And they were like, "This event was so good what because more? yeah, they want they wanted more, so they gave me more dates, to promote shows in that club." Yeah. And I must say that was the beginning of not turning back for me. Wow. So that's when he took up. Yeah. Next one is everybody knows that you have a great relationship with whoever you work with. So what's the secret of maintaining them relationships? Okay, so the secret to maintaining relationship first is service. You have to have good service. You know, mm -hmm. I'm passionate about my business, so I look beyond just the business transactions. Yeah. So I make sure that, for example, any artist that. I bring down for shows, make, I make sure they have a good time, mm -hmm. they have a good experience, yeah. I provide them with everything, yeah. Look, anything they want, I give it to them. Yes, so yeah. that kind of like helps keep the relationship Should tight. Going, you yeah. know what I'm so even after my event with them, they still call me and talk to me about different things, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. Same thing with my club nights, my events, when you come celebrate your birthdays or your parties with me, I make sure you have a good time yeah. so that you'll be happy to come back. I'm so aware. the secret is service. You have to service. always give a good service. Okay. Yeah. And how do you deal with hate? Hate is something that comes naturally yeah. in every business, in every way of life. Even if within family, you get mm -hmm. hate. Um, I, over the years, I've grown a thick skin. Yeah. Yeah. I see negative comments. I see those things make you stronger. I've always come through one hate to the other at every step of my career. And I'm, I'm not even scared of what age is coming next. Yeah? I say, <laughs> God's with you. Come on. That's it. Energy. That's it. Energy. Energy. You, you, that's you, energy. You said it all. Oh, yeah, that's I only it. believe in one thing. Yeah. God. You know, I put him first and everything else. We'll follow. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's it. So where do you see yourself in 10 years? Do in you 10 see years. yourself being still doing the entertainment business? So or? I'm 34 now and in 10 years I'll be 44. Wow. Granddad. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm still going to be in those parties. <laughs> Still turning, cane. still Look turning up. Is. You know, I don't need a cane there. <laughs> you know, so in the next ten years, um, I really don't know. I just follow the lead that God. You know, anywhere God wants to take me, I follow. All I know for me right now is I'm working hard, I'm focused, yeah. and I'm trying to get better every other day. So in ten years' time, God might, I might say, okay, this is where I want to be, but that's not where oh, God, God wants me you, yeah. to be. So I just. Go with the flow. The dudes 
adult of any beginner in the promotion okay. industry. So there's loads of do's and don'ts. There's loads of advice I would like to share, but I can't say it all here. Yeah. But the little I can is like, you know, um, stay focused, believe, put God first, be good to people. This goes a long way. Yeah, stay focused, continue to believe. That's all I would say to you right now. So if you're out there and you want to be a promoter or anything you're doing in life, just believe. But don't forget to pray, guys. <laughs> hey, Prayer. No, we're not in charge of most of it. Just put God first. We still no, turn up. We still turn up. We guys. turn up. I would like to give a very big thank you to Smay for today. For today. Thank you for coming all the way from Dublin. Come on, guys. Irish. That's it. That's it.